Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Bruce Wallace, and I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you to our online section of English 1110. To tell you a little bit about myself, I have my PhD in English from OSU, and I'm now working as a senior lecturer in the Department of English. As you can maybe tell from my accent, I grew up in South Africa, but I've been living in Ohio for eight years now. I'm looking forward to getting to meet all of you on Carmen and helping you to develop your skills in reading, researching, and writing. English 1110 is one of my favorite courses to teach. I think it's one of the most important courses we offer since it helps to set you up for success throughout the rest of your career here at OSU and then beyond that in the workplace. In the case of this particular section of 1110, we're obviously going to be meeting online, which may be a kind of new and different experience for a lot of you. Now, in some ways, you'll discover that this online course is equivalent to its in-person version. You're going to be reading various texts, you're going to be doing a wide range of activities, you're going to be working on a sequence of writing assignments, and you're going to be having discussions with me and your classmates. In other ways, though, you may find that an online class puts different demands on you. In particular, you're going to be more responsible for managing your own learning. You'll have to check what you need to do each week and make time in your days to accomplish those tasks. To be successful, I strongly recommend that you adopt a few habits. First, set a schedule for yourself. You'll find that you'll normally have about three sets of tasks to do a week, so go ahead and plan times for them in advance. Second, read ahead in the syllabus so that you have a decent idea of what will be happening in the near future. That'll help you plan a lot better. Third, um, check into Carmen on Fridays to see the module for the upcoming week. Although 1110 is an online course and is somewhat asynchronous, you won't be able to work through it entirely at your own pace, since you're going to be collaborating with me and your classmates on many activities. Um, after the first week, new modules will always be released on Fridays, so Friday is going to be the day to stop by, check, see what's happening. Now, at the same time, even though you are a bit more responsible for managing your learning, I really, really want to stress that you aren't alone in this journey. I am very aware that it can be intimidating and isolating to take an online class. And so I'm always, always here to help you be successful in this course. I have both in-person and online office hours, and you're obviously welcome to drop into either of them at any point. Um, you can find some information about when they're happening on the syllabus. Beyond that, you can email me at any time. I have my contact information on the syllabus and also on the course information on Carmen. So if you find you're having any problems at all, please don't hesitate to come and ask me. I really don't think any question is too small or too stupid to answer if it helps you. So don't be shy to come forward and ask me. I really am here to help you. So with that said, this week is designed to help orient you to this online course. After watching my video, I'd like you to continue by watching the video put together by the First Year Writing Program, which will give you a lot more information about the course, its structure, the logic behind it. Just note that the First Year Writing Program has actually changed its textbook since that video was made. You're going to need to buy the Writer's Companion, as your syllabus says, rather than writing analytically. After that, um, I'd like you to work through the to-do list, which you can find both on the schedule and on the overview for the week. I should stress that if you want to work ahead, you generally actually will have that option. So if you look at the schedule for the first week, 
you'll see that it's broken down into a set of tasks for Tuesday and Thursday. Now, if you find that you have just a ton of time on Tuesday, you can work through the whole list and get it out of the way for the week. That isn't always going to be possible since in some cases we're going to have class discussion or group work or do something that depends on basically other people getting the work done. However, you will find that you have a lot of flexibility much of the time, which I think is actually one of the huge advantages of the online format. Um, also notice if you look at the syllabus that you have a tiny little assignment due this week, the first week writing assignment. It's designed to give me a sense of who's in the class and also to give you a chance to pause and reflect on where you are as a writer before you begin the process of developing your skills further. It's not for a major grade, but completion of it is going to count towards your process work grade. I think it's worth about 10 points of the overall 1,000 points. So not much, but something. So after looking at the syllabus and the schedule, if you have any questions at all, or if you're unsure about what I want you to do this week, uh, you can either go ahead and post your questions on the Common Discussion Forum, or you can simply shoot me an email. Whatever is easier for you at this point. So I'm really excited and happy about beginning this journey with you, and I look forward to getting to know you a little bit better through both your first week writing and your introductions. I hope you have a really great first week, both in this course and in your other courses as well. So take care and I'll talk to you again in one week.